bad. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, where you can set up your own yeah. custom web presence. In this video, I'm going to modernize this 2010 Gary Fisher Hi-Fi Pro by slackening the head angle. Now, I've had this bike for a while, and I've already made a few changes, like the stem and the bars. The stem was longer and the bars were shorter. And I've been trying to figure out what else I want to do to update and modernize this bike. I installed a dropper post, and now it's time to take it a little further. I'd also like to get rid of this 3 by drivetrain and set it up with a derailleur with a clutch. It also needs a good cleaning after my pre-modification ride. So before we get into much, let's check out that footage with my thoughts pre-modification. So climbing on this hi-fi as it is, is pretty good. It's got a pretty steep head angle, 71 degrees makes it feel when you're climbing like you're right over that that front wheel helps nail it down but still feels kind of twitchy time for some downhill Yeah, I think I'd be happier on my Niner on this with that slacker hen angle, but you can tell it's twitchier and I feel less confident due to that. Mind you, this is also the first time I'm riding this trail and I have no idea what's ahead of me besides Mud. Yeah. In preparation for modifying the head angle to this bike, I did a lot of digging and looking at the different options, and it took reading some of the specs and options and really looking at some of the help sites that were available to, to know what best to do, which kind of brings us to our sponsor for today, Squarespace. The Squarespace Help Center has really been helpful for me in setting up my personalized website. It tells you how to add pages to your site, how to set up a personal blog, um, how to set up your online store, which I'm working on, how to edit the style of your, your page, and then to publish it. It's a super helpful resource. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash old shovel to save 10% off your purchase of a website or domain. Let's get back to the build. So I've reached a decision point on this bike. I've been wanting to do a paint job for a while. A lot of you guys have been wanting it too. And I was considering it for this frame, but I was kind of in between. I really like the paint on this. It's actually in really good condition once I cleaned it up from the way it looked when I first picked it up. It looks really good. The frame, is in great shape, the paint is in great shape. When I got down to this press fit bottom bracket that is used for this bike, 
the press fit bottom bracket, they don't really make them anymore. It's difficult to find them. I don't have the tool to remove it correctly. I'm afraid if I try to remove it myself, there's nothing wrong with it. The bearings are working great. Um, they're good. And it's tipping me over to not painting it. And then focusing on this build with the cool thing that I want to do, which is making this early 29er full suspension more modern. And that's slackening out this head angle with the angle headset that I'm going to put in. And so that's what I'm going to focus on now is actually installing this angle headset. So this is the headset I'm going to install. It's a wolf tooth angle headset that adds uh, or removes, adds or removes, depending on how you put it in, two degrees to the angle of the head tube. So it does it by displacing, um, the removing the internal bearing that goes in the top, bumping it out slightly um, towards the saddle if you want to remove two degrees and um, towards the front of the bike if you want to add two degrees. Of course, we don't want to add two degrees. We don't want to make this a 73 degree angle head tube. We want to make it uh, a 69 degree head angle by removing two degrees. Um, there's requirements for, the, for which headset you install. This one needed the, the long um, angle headset for the longer head tube. This head tube measures Hundred and twenty five millimeters, and so it fit in that range that Wolf Tooth specifies for their longer head tube headset. So, if you're going to do this, make this change, make sure you check the parameters and the specs, make sure it's the right headset that matches your, your head tube. This is a tapered head tube, so it's uh, 44 on the top and 56 on the bottom. And this longer headset should, should do everything that I need. On both the top and the bottom of the headset, there is a center line marked that needs to align with the center of the top tube. So I need to mark that first so that when I install these and press them in, that they are aligned. With that done, it should be sufficient to then just slide the fork back in and we should be good to go. Now with the headset installed, you can see we're going to displace the bearings from internal to external and above and shift them towards the back. And then on the bottom headset, you can see it's thinner here at the front compared to the back. And that helps give that two degree angle change in the head tube. Super cool.
And with the mods done, it's time to check out how this change in the head angle changes the way the bike rides. So, notice right off the bat, it feels way more stable and smooth. I was worried it would climb a little different, but I think it's actually better on the climb because of the stability. It doesn't feel as twitchy up front on the climbs. And yeah, it's good. I'm quite happy with the, the headset swap to add that or remove that additional two degrees of head angle. Put it at 69, I guess. Feels good. Probably could have done one more if that was possible. Another difference that I didn't really highlight much, the original cranks on this are 175 millimeters. And these cranks are 170. So maybe five millimeters shorter. And I didn't think I'd be able to feel the difference, but I can. It's just so slight. Um, power wise, I don't really feel much difference though, but I can feel that the stroke is different. So thanks for following along with me on this rebuild of the Scary Fisher Hi-Fi Pro. I'm really, really quite satisfied actually with the change in the headset. The head angle really made a big difference in both ascending and descending. And on that test ride, I got some Strava PRs. It, it made a difference in both confidence and speed that I think made it well worth the change. So if you've got an older 29er, older meaning like 2010, which to me doesn't seem too long ago, a lot of those earlier 29ers had those steeper head angles because the geometry changes with the 29er hadn't come yet. It could be a great option for an angle headset like I did on this bike. It really updated and made it awesome. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Look for opportunities to give those old things new life. And I'll see you on the next video. Ciao.